Hello and uh, welcome to chapter 9, Privity of Contract. So, Privity of Contract. Um, question, can you, you can't sue or be sued under a contract unless you are a party to that contract, or can you? The Privity of Contract states that a contract cannot confer rights or impose obligation to a person or a agent except the parties to it. Only the parties can uh, to the contract should be able to sue to enforce rights or claim for damages. Quote, you can't sue or be sued under a contract unless you are a party to that contract. Unquote. Um, the canvas gives an example of ABC to help understand the situation. Um, Adam is the uh, promisor and Brian is the promisee and the Charles is a third party. And when Adam and Brian enters into a contract, um, Adam can transfer the benefit to Charles. Charles is to receive the benefit from the contract. He does not have the right or obligation to the uh, uh, to the contract, and he cannot sue to enforce the contract. If Adam fails to pay Charles, Brian is able to sue Adam for the breach of contract. This does not happen too often for two main reasons. Well, number one, um, the gain from suing Adam will likely recover only nominal damages. Number two, there is no financial incentive for Brian to sue. All right, but um, below are a few examples of this type of contract third-party beneficiary rule. All right, the first one is when promisee when the promisee takes the obligation to pay money to uh, pay money to the uh, third party. Number two, the promisee gives a gift to the third party. Number three, the promisee discharges a debt owed by a a promise uh, by a promise to a third party. And number four, insurance contract where the insurer insure the life of the insured. The insurer pays the money to a third party beneficiary in certain defined circumstance. Or and number five, manufactured goods. The contract of sale of, of sales with the uh, dealer. There is a manufacturer guarantee that is to the benefit of the consumer. The consumer is the third party. All right. So part B. Um, development of the rationale of the rule. Okay, um, there are a few exceptions to the rule of the third party beneficiary uh, in the 17th century and 18th century. Um, the first one is Tweedle versus Atkinson, 1861. Third party can generally either sue or be sued. All right, so this is, that's the rule from that case. Um, a couple gets married, uh, and both father agreed to pay the groom monies, right? The in-laws failed to pay. The groom took his father-in-law to court and lost because he because um, he was a stranger to the uh, uh, to the consideration. All right, in Tweedle versus Atkinson in 1861 case, um, a person who is not engaged in the contract can neither sue or be sued on that contract. Um, love and affection are not enough to constitute a valid consideration. Thus, a mere third-party beneficiary cannot uh, enforce a contract. All right. Um, the second one is Dunlop uh, Palomatic uh, Tire versus Selfridge and Company Limited, 1915. Third party may sue if promisee contracted as his agent. All right. So Dunlop is a tire manufacturer who had a resale price maintenance scheme. Dunlop had a contract with the uh, wholesaler to not sell the tires below the manufactured uh, suggested pri listed price. The manufacturer does not have an agreement directly with the retailer. In this case, Dew was the wholesaler who supplied uh, the retailers, um, Selfridge. Selfridge breaches the contract and sold two tires below the listed price. This case failed because of a third party beneficiary rule. Dunlop was a third party beneficiary to that uh, to of that promise. Um, in the case Dunlop, uh, uh, pa what uh, Dunlop, Pontianatic uh, Tire C Company versus Selfridge Company, 1915, only a person who is a party to a contract can sue or be sued on that contract, even if contract provides a third part a party with with an enforceable right. There is a requirement for the need of consideration. Okay. Um, According to this case, a principal 
not named in the contract may sue upon it if the promisee really uh, contracted his uh, contracted uh, as his agent. Okay. So, from these two cases, there are two fundamental principle principle of the third party beneficiary rule. The first one is only a person who is a party to a contract can sue. Number two, consideration must have been given by him to the promisor if there is to be an enforceable contract. All right. The third case is uh, Beswick versus Beswick, 1966. Um, the rule here is third party can sue in a trustee relationship. All right. In Beswick versus Beswick, 1966 case, Lord Denning finds an exception to the general rule of a person who is not engaged in a contract, cannot sue or be sued. This exception comes in the form of a third party trustee relationship. In Beswick case, um, the widow was able to sue in her capacity as an, ex an, as an executor uh, of the estate. Okay. Um, Beswick versus Beswick is another important English case in the purview of contract and the rights of the third party. Uh, in this case, an uncle and a nephew had an agreement. The uncle passes away and the nephew took the business. The nephew was to provide a, an annuity of five pounds a week to his auntie. Um, the nephew refused to pay and the auntie was successful in her capacity as an administratrix of her uh, husband's estate. As an administratrix of her husband, uh, as an administratrix, uh, she was able to sue for nominal damages. Under this case, there is an ec equitable exception to the doctrine of privity of contract, where the third party is in a trustee relationship. The widow sued in her capacity as an administratrix of the estate. The original contract par contracting parties were not able to change the contract without the consent of the third party. Thus contract made for the benefit of a third party can be enforceable. Anyone who has a legal interest in the contract can enforce the contract in the name of the contracting party. Again, all right, so anyone who has a legal interest in the contract can enforce the contract in the name of the uh, contracting party. All right, so part C, limitation on an exception to the rule. So question again. You can't sue or be sued under a contract unless you are a party to the, um, the contract, or can you? Well, it is a general maxim under the privative contract that you can't sue or be sued under the contract unless you are a party to um, that contract. However, the third party beneficiary rule states that a person who uh, will have rights to sue or be sued under a contract even though they are not a party to the contract. They're not party to the contract. This relationship will arise when the third party is the intended beneficiary of the contract. If the contract is made for the benefit of a third par uh, person, he or she will have the legitimate interest to enforce a contract in the uh, name of the contracting party. There are recognized exceptions to the uh, doctrine of purview of contract. First one is agency. Second one is uh, assignment of contractual rights. Third is trustee. Fourth is contractual uh, collateral contract and fourth is tort law okay so under these exception a person can sue or be sued under a contract even if they are not a party to that contract all right so th that is the end of part one of chapter nine privity of contract um, we'll go into details later, later on um, as to these exceptions okay so until next time stay classy everyone all right um, and take care that is chapter nine